today's video lesson, I want you to explore author's purpose. When authors write, they have a purpose in mind, and it's as easy as pie. P-I-E, persuade, inform, or entertain. Kind of like how that flows together. Author's purpose is as easy as pie. Persuade, inform, or entertain. Let's talk about what that means. You can follow along in your own flipbook. An author's purpose um, to persuade is when they write to convince their readers to believe in or do something. It's kind of like they're saying, hey, listen up, I'm going to tell you something. I like to think of hearing a commercial or an advertisement on the radio. Listen up, I'm going to persuade. Writers write to inform or teach their readers about something. When you read something informative, it's kind of like the writer is saying, see what I'm teaching you? Listen, I'm going to teach you this. Finally, entertaining. Writers write to entertain their readers and to get them to feel emotions. It's like they're saying, see, I can make you laugh, I can make you cry, or I can make you smile. I kind of think of jazz hands. So writers can persuade, listen up. Inform, I'm going to teach, or entertain. Let's try that again. Persuade, inform, or entertain. Persuade, inform, or entertain. Now we're going to practice that. When we read, it's important for us to understand why a text was written. Again, are they going to persuade? Are they going to inform? Or are they going to entertain us? We're going to practice that skill as we look at some passages. Here's the first passage. Read along with me. The giant panda is a bear-like animal that has thick white fur with black markings on its ears, limbs, and shoulders, and around its eyes. The giant panda feeds on bamboo forests at high altitudes in western China. It also eats bulbs, roots, eggs, and some small mammals. The cubs are born in late winter. The giant panda is an endangered species and is protected by the Chinese government. In this passage, do you think the writer is trying to persuade us, listen up, this is what I want you to think? Do you think the writer is trying to inform us, I'm going to teach you this? Or do you think this passage was written to entertain us? Go ahead and point to what you think. In this passage, the writer is trying to inform us. This writer is teaching us about giant pandas. This passage is filled with information for us to learn. We have learned that bamboos have markings, what they eat, a little bit about their family lives, and that they're an endangered species. This passage wrote to inform. Okay, turn and look at the next passage with me, please. Joe had been fishing for over two hours without a single bite. Suddenly, there was a nibble at the end of his fishing line. He stood up on the boat and leaned out too far. Just then, there was a sharp yank on the line. Joe fell overboard and landed headfirst into the water. Joe and his friends laughed and laughed. Persuade, inform, or entertain. Point to which purpose? entertain. This writer was trying to help us feel an emotion. In this case, when the friends laughed and laughed, we could laugh along with them. We could make a connection. All right, let's read the next passage together. It's new. It's refreshing. It's fizzy soda. Fizzy soda is the best soda in the world. If you drink this soda, you will jump higher, run faster, and be smarter in school. Fizzy soda takes, tastes great and is refreshing. Refreshing. It comes in 12 ounce cans or 16 ounce bottles. Try fizzy soda today. What's the writer doing? Persuading, informing, or entertaining. That's right. This writer is saying, hey, listen up. I want you to try fizzy soda. It's the best. Often when writers persuade, they're trying to convince us to feel the way that they feel. Now, we have three passages to read and practice with. You have a card. 
We're going to vote for each passage as we read them. I'll start with the first one. If you want to become a better reader, you need to read often. Research supports children need to read frequently and to be able to read high-frequency words. All students will benefit by reading at least 20 to 30 minutes each day. Make it a point to read more often. What do you think? Persuade, inform, or entertain? Hold up your card. Persuade. This passage is trying to persuade you into the importance of being uh, a better reader through practice. It's saying, listen up, make it a point to read more often. What's to persuade you to do that? Let's try the middle passage. Jim was unable to get to sleep. When he went to bed, he cried. Tomorrow is his birthday party and it's going to be ruined. How can we go sledding with no snow? The next morning, when Jim got out of bed and ran to the window, he shouted with glee. The snow has fallen and we can go sledding. Jim was happy because now he could have his sledding birthday party. What is this author doing? Persuading, informing, or entertaining? Yep, that's right. This writer is entertaining us, telling us a story about Jim. Helping us feel some emotion. Did you feel sad about Jim's party possibly being ruined? And were you happy for Jim when he was able to go sledding? Entertaining us. Final passage. There are three lights on a traffic light. The top light is red, and that means stop. The yellow light is yellow, and that means caution. The bottom light is green, and that means go. Persuade, inform, or entertain. Inform. This writer is informing us or teaching us about the lights on a stoplight. Now that we've practiced some passages together, I'm going to ask you to turn off the video. And I've got some passages for you to do with your group. I'd like you to read the passages together and then decide, persuade, inform, or entertain. Everybody will get a vote and we'll see if you agree on what the purpose of the passage is. Remember, author's purpose is as easy as pie. Persuade, inform, or entertain. Persuade, inform, or entertain.